Hi, this is Danny Jarabek here with Awards Radar, and I am very excited to be talking with Julia Schlaefer. She is, of course, uh, part of 1923 as Alexandra. And Julia, how are you doing today? I'm super excited to be talking to you about this show. I'm great. Thank you. How are you? I'm so stoked, too. It'll be great. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, and I am very uh, excited to be talking with you in particular, because first of all, I want to say congratulations on the show. And I am very um, excited for this conversation because I think Alexander is a wonderful character in this series. And I think um, you've brought so much to the role that I am very excited to just kind of dig into that a little bit. But to start it off, I'd love to ask, um, you know, for you, what was it like to kind of step into this Yellowstone universe? Because this is obviously a big universe. Um, yeah. and you're you're part of a prequel series. There's a sequel series. There's a main series. There's a sequel to the main series coming soon. <laughs> and so it's a big world and it's got a huge fan base. And so what was it like for you just stepping into that? Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, it's like an empire. It's crazy. <laughs> um Oh, I mean, it was so exciting. It was a little bit intimidating, of course. And you just want to show up and give these amazing fans, because the fans really are incredible for the show. Um, you want to give them what they want. And my parents were actually huge fans of Yellowstone in 1883. And then, and I had never, I had never seen it, but I had heard about it. And so I started watching after I got the role. And then I, um, I had to stop myself because I was like, okay, this is too overwhelming. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to do my job. And, you know, um, the scale of the thing is incredible. And I think we'd be over in Africa and filming and, and Brandon and I would have these moments of like, whoa, like we are filming a huge chunk of this show right now. We better not mess it up. So, um, but it was, I mean, it was incredible. The family that Taylor has created in, in this universe is really special and supportive and creative. And so I just feel so lucky. <laughs> Absolutely. And you mentioned the scale. That's actually something I would like to get your perspective on. If that is something that was sort of a shock to you when you were first stepping on set, just um, the magnitude of of this show and, you know, um, the especially filming in a ton of different locations and having the split narrative, part of your cast is off going and working somewhere else. Just mm -hmm. how did that all kind of process for you as you were jumping into this role? Yeah, I mean, it's it's so incredible as an actor it's such a luxury to have all of these resources at you know right at the tip of our fingers and and everything was real you know so there were no you know fake sets you know we weren't filming africa in america we were going to south africa and kenya and malta you know we we're riding those horses. We are in the water tanks being pummeled by waves, you know? And um, yeah, as an actor, it's just, it's such a gift because you don't have to work as hard to pretend like you're seeing an elephant for the first time. You're actually seeing an elephant for the first time. And, and so it really just gave us the opportunity to like step into our characters that much more and go along on the journey with our characters. And, you know, when Alexandra is looking out in episode two, I think at, you know, these beautiful mountains in Africa and just saying, I feel so small. I've never felt so small before. Like that was me, Julia, feeling those things, um, which is so special, you know? Um, so it was incredible. And they gave us such, such prep time, which is like the fun stuff. We were in cowboy camp for, well, Brandon and I had an extended cowboy camp because we were waiting to film in Africa. So we were in cowboy camp for like two months and we were riding horses for two months. And, you know, at the uh, Butte, Montana, YMCA swimming, swim training, you know, and um, I had time for my dialect lessons. So we really got to sink our teeth in in a way that is rare. And I'm just I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, I I would love to hear about that cowboy camp a little bit more, too, because I'm sure as an actor, as as anyone, just getting on a horse um, is a humbling experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can confirm. Um, yeah, it was very humbling for all of us. We all got there. And the Wranglers, they're like these world famous, Wrang they're the best Wranglers in the world and um, teaching us how to ride. And we get there and they're like, OK, 
how much experience riding a horse does everyone have? And be honest, because we will find out if you're lying immediately. <laughs> and I think we all kind of were like, yeah, I've ridden a little bit. We all tried to lie still. We were like, I've ridden as a kid and, you know, would trot around, go on trail rides. So I'm, I'm pretty, I think I'll be good. And then we were just wrecked. Like we were <laughs> destroyed. And I'm so mad at the cast still to this day because they gave us the option of wearing butt pads um, when we were in cowboy camp. And the first everyone was like, no, I'm not going to wear them. I'm going to be tough. And then by the end of the week, I was in so much pain and everyone else seemed a little bit better. And I was like, what's going on? And they were like, well, Julia, are you wearing your butt pads? And I was like, I thought we decided as a cast that we weren't doing that. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, it was it was humbling. It was so challenging. But it was the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. You know, we, we, by the end, we actually all did get pretty good at riding. We were, you know, loping around and, you know, we, they sent us out into a field with like a bunch of cattle and we had to wrangle them back into the, you know, ranch. And um, we learned how to lasso and we, you know, we made really great friends with the wranglers too. So by the end, we were like barrel racing each other and timing each other. It was so much fun. Um, yeah. So best, best time of my life. It was amazing, but painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really cool to hear. And and getting to uh, your character of Alexandra, of course, how did you begin to build this character? She, of course, comes from a very different background than um, a lot of the people you interact with, with the Duttons. Um, but of course, uh, she steps into this world. She's uh, very a brave character. So how did you begin to to build that out? And what was sort of the vision behind who you wanted this character to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it was funny. So I did all of this character work before my screen test for Alexandra. And I went in for my screen test and Taylor Sheridan was like, throw it all away. <laughs> And he was like, I just want you to bring as much of yourself to the, I want you to be you because you are Alexandra and that's all I want. And, and so I did. And, and then by the end of that screen test, we were like crying together <laughs> and it was really beautiful, but I, Taylor was insistent that it was just, I was bringing as much of Julia to the character as possible. And I think, you know, I think I, inherently understood a lot of where she was coming from, even though it is a very different background, a very different world. You know, I I grew up a ballerina. And, and so I think, you know, just the way that she holds herself and presents herself was very much something I was taught to do as a dancer and um, the discipline. And, you know, um, I think also just, as a young woman in the world, I remember, I, you know, growing up, I felt so much pressure to be a certain way, to look a certain way, to behave a certain way. And, um, but then also understood underneath of that, the desire to be loud and be dirty and not give a crap what anybody thinks and go after what you want. And there was always, I think that inside of me as well. So I understood her, I think, from the jump but then I don't know if I would be as brave as her in the 1920s to do what she did but she is so brave and you know she just she always wants more for herself and she wants adventure and so every day I had to show up to set and it I that was the great challenge was to show up and be as present as possible in every moment no matter how I was feeling no matter how sleepy I was, like, I, you know, we all got food poisoning, like, you know, like, but I had to show up every day and I had to, you know, put on my rose colored glasses a little bit and, and, and fill my heart with love and, and be so present and um, observe the world around me because that's what she does. And I, it's something that I love about her. I really look up to her. Um, and yeah, it just, I, I, I learned a lot from Alexandra. I love that. Um, and also you, you know, you mentioned a little bit of the work process with Taylor, who of course is 
a massive part of of bringing this show to life. What was that collaboration with with him and um, the writing process and and just how he kind of works with um, the cast to to build out this world and build out these characters that are so rich and so textured and especially for you too as a strong female character in this story as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he's he's amazing. He made himself accessible to us right off the bat once we got the, the roles. He visited us at Cowboy Camp one day. Um, and, um, you know, he had Brandon and I out to his ranch in Texas for probably about five days to ride with his horses and his wranglers and then rehearse. And um, it was funny, you know, we got out there and we went to go rehearse and we were in his office with the binders full of the scripts and we just read through the entire script and, you know, didn't, he, he gave us a few notes at the beginning, but, but then didn't really say much towards the end. And we finished the last scene of all the episodes and he just says, okay, I want you to do that exactly. And we were like, okay. Um, because again, like for him, in the casting of it, he's so brilliant. And I think he casts, he casts people so well and he has such an eye for humans and their chemistry. And he just, again, wanted us to bring ourselves to these characters. And, um, you know, he called us a couple of times in Africa and checked in and asked us how we were doing. And he writes these incredible female, strong characters. I mean, that's kind of, the backbone of this Yellowstone family and the Stutton family. And so to get to step into that was really exciting for me. And, you know, I would always be pushing for Alexandra to have, um, to, you know, to do things on her own. I was like, she is not a damsel in distress. She can, she can climb up the boat by herself, you know, things like that. Um, but he was receptive to all of it. And I think the thing about him is everything is on the page. It's all in the writing. So as long as we were staying true to his writing and to what was on the page, it, it was it was going to work, I, I think. So, yeah. Speaking of uh, that chemistry you mentioned, I do have to ask about your relationship with uh, Brandon, both on screen and and off how you worked with him. I, I got to talk to Brandon and I asked him the same question with you. So I was <laughs> I felt like it would be fun to ask you the same question with him, how how you work together. Um, to build this relationship and um, just what it means for uh, your, the journey of your two characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we got really lucky because Taylor just knew somehow that we were going to have chemistry. We didn't chemistry read it at all. Um, and we met on that first day of cowboy camp and we like what you see on screen just like existed with us. Like we didn't, we just had this chemistry that it's really special. And, um, and then of course we had the, you know, a few months before we filmed to just spend basically every waking second together. <laughs> and, you know, we were, you know, riding together and, and going through all this physical training together. And then we would spend, you know, almost every night because we all lived in this kind of like cul-de-sac community and with like the cast, it's just best friends. We'd have like barbecues every night, but, um, but we would spend like every night at one of our houses, just going through the scenes and we're both so passionate about the material and we just, we cared so much. And um, yeah. And we just, we went through a lot in Africa. I mean, it was nonstop. We, <laughs> we did not have, I don't think a day off really, because if we did have a day off, we were flying 16 hours to go to the next location. Um, and so, yeah, it was very special. We just, we only had each other to rely on. And we, of course, became very close because of that. And um, just, we really had to have each other's backs out there. And we have seen each other in the, every state of mind you could imagine. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was, it was really great. It was great to have a partner in crime in that way. I'm sure that was definitely um, helpful throughout the, that process, which was which was definitely, I'm sure, a lot to go through, but uh, fun all at the same time. And um, yeah, just to to wrap it up here, I, I would love to hear um, your thoughts and your insight on 
um, just what Alexandra's journey means to you and, you know, where you want to see uh, this character grow and in, in, in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm so proud of Alexandra. <laughs> um, I think, you know, as I said before, like, I understand that feeling of wanting more for yourself and not wanting to be boxed in. Um, and she got out, she, you know, chased after the car and, and followed her heart and did the brave thing, even though it was terrifying. And even every step of the way, when she's faced with more and more challenges, she still is relentless in her pursuit of this love and of a free life for herself. And that is just so, I think that that is, I like have goosebumps. That's just so incredible for one to want for themselves. And, and um, I think she's stronger than she even knows. And I think she started to find that towards the end of the season. And so I hope in season two, you know, we will have left off with them separated. So I hope we get to see her harness her strength you know, on her own without relying on Spencer. And and I hope we get to see her claw her way to Montana um, with everything she's got. Cause she, I think she can do it. And I think she wants to do it. And so I'm really, I'm hoping that that is where her journey takes her. Well, I certainly hope so too. And I uh, will certainly be tuning in to find out. I can't wait to see how it all develops. Um, but Julia, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate getting the opportunity to chat with you. And again, congratulations on the show and best of luck with everything moving forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was great. <laughs> Absolutely. Have a great rest of your day.